we had a special counsel appointed to investigate Joe Biden's handling of classified documents. These are appointments within the Department of Justice that are focusing on a criminal inquiry. You hear a lot on TV, especially from the Biden team. They're just doing a review. This is uh, uh, they're just investigating this. Uh, but, but again, what they're not telling you is what it really is. The attorney general or in cases where the AG is recused, that's not in this matter. Uh, the acting attorney general will appoint a special counsel. And this is what's key when he or she determines that criminal investigation of a person or matter is warranted. So I want to make it clear to everybody right now that special counsel's starting point is that this is a criminal investigation of Joe Biden and the people on his team who are moving around these classified documents over a six year period in multiple locations. Call this whatever they want, but at the end of the day, this is a criminal investigation. Well, yeah, it is a criminal investigation. The statute clearly says that 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 is what triggers the ability of the attorney general or the acting AG to appoint a special counsel as criminal, uh, the possibility that crimes have been committed. They still report to the Department of Justice and say, at the end of the day, the attorney general makes the final call. Yeah, always. The, at the end of the day, the attorney general makes the call. The only thing is the special counsel under the statute does not have to report on a day-to-day basis. You can't make this up. Look, given the fact that there was a special counsel court to review classified information that was potentially down in Mar-a-Lago in the possession of the former president, this, this had to be done. I'll be honest, I, I'm not a big special counsel fan. Um, I think the attorney general, I think the attorney general has the responsibility and the accountability and has to own the actions they take. You can't separate this executive branch by handing it off to someone and saying, hey, you know, I didn't have anything to do with this. But look, given given the way Gar- Merrick Garland has proceeded, Attorney General Garland has proceeded, uh, this had to happen. I hope that this uh, special counsel will get to the bottom. We still we still don't know a heck of a lot about what actually happened here. We don't know if this is all of them. And we don't know why it is it took them uh, weeks and weeks and weeks to make sure that the public understood what they had from the most transparent administration in history, or at least so they say. I share with you the reservations that you have about special counsel. I, do. I don't really like it. Mike Pompeo, the secretary, former secretary of state, just said he didn't like it. I don't like going outside the Justice Department no. that should be in itself, have its own integrity and independence and doesn't have to uh, you know, worry about political motivations. Although I see what Garland did. I was frankly shocked to see that Merrick Garland you were showed some guts. The U.S. attorney normally doesn't have to go to the attorney general for a, an indictment on a case. But as it relates to the special counsel, what they really do is do a report to the attorney general. They will not independently bring a criminal case without the sign-off of the either the attorney general or or the deputy attorney general. So the question, like when Durham was bringing those cases against some of those smaller actors involving the Russia probe. They had to be signed off by they, the AG. He was not doing that unilaterally. Correct. 